Hello my dears and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Pamela and I put out beauty related videos sometimes. Today's video, you guys, is just a couple of little favorite things. I have been using these products for quite some time and I don't have too many to share, I don't think. Uh, I have a couple of products. I don't have too many to share with you, but um, I've been thinking a lot about favorite videos lately. And every time I watch them, I feel like they are obviously targeted by the things that the person purchased that one month. And it's not necessarily things that they've been using for like a long period of time. Now I'm not trying to like rain on anybody's parade or like say this is the way you should do favorites. Mm -mm, nothing like that. I just thought it would be a better idea if favorite videos were a little like like smaller as far as the products that you really really like and and in my opinion a favorites video should be something that you've been using a little bit longer of a period of time correct me if i'm wrong like i said we're all different this is just my opinion don't come at me but these products i've definitely been adoring for quite some time they have been used for way way longer than just this past month i've had them for maybe a couple of months with the exception of one okay one I will admit I've only had for a month, but I've been using it so often I've already made a pretty good dent into it and I could say that I really, really like it. So that's why it's in this video. So I think that's all the babbling I'm gonna do because I don't want this video to be a million years long. So let's just get right into this. Yes. Let's start with this primer. I clearly love this primer. I've been pairing this primer with just about everything. Today I am wearing it with the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better. I have a whole dedicated review and as some of you may know, I'm actually currently testing this out for two weeks. And these two together, match made in heaven. I really, really like the way any foundation lays on top of this primer. Now this doesn't do anything for your pores i'll be straight up like if you have pores in this area or some fine lines or things that you want to like smooth out this won't do that for you i recommend the putty primer instead by elf if you're looking for something like that but this is just so hydrating and as some of you may know i have very very dry skin and i just prefer to look hydrated than to just look like flat if that makes any sense like i prefer a more hydrated like non-drying look because a lot of the times a foundation can cling to drier parts of my skin and it just makes me look like that desert floor status you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about and i love that this primer is just so incredibly hydrating it's a hydrating hyaluronic acid primer it smells like coconuts it does have a mild fragrance but nothing that lingers and it's very very subtle so love this loving it so much i cannot recommend this product enough and i'm i'm gonna be ready for a second bottle and i may just purchase two to have a backup to be honest moving on i have this brow gel product from uh, aoa studio which is the shop miss a brand and this is phenomenal you guys like this is so good. I haven't been a huge fan of Shop Miss A Brow products. I've tried literally everything that they make and I have narrowed it down to like two or three products that I think are top notch considering they're only a dollar. It applies beautifully on the eyebrows. Like if you have um, a thicker eyebrow, I would recommend this a little bit more because it it just like it makes your eyebrows look so beautifully full it's also transfer proof or whatever like i'm rubbing my eyebrows right now and i'm not i'm not getting any product on my finger like it's crazy it's waterproof sweat proof i'm a very sweaty person i don't know if you could see the sweat on camera but i'm sweating as we speak i'm a very sweaty person and this will not budge you get a really really good amount of product considering it's only a dollar it comes in a decent variation of shades if you're curious i'm in the shade dark brown and dark brown isn't like sometimes i buy dark brown in certain like brow like pencils or brow pomades or whatever and it ends up being a little bit more on the red side this as you could see is definitely a cool tone brown which is oh, my favorite i hate it when brow products look red in my eyebrows and this is just like the most perfect like dark 
ash brown. So if you have dark hair such as myself and you're looking for like a gel pomade like hybrid, this is your girl. Moving on, I've got this eye primer and I mentioned this I think in my what I've purchased during quarantine haul and I'm ready to review this. At first I wasn't too sure, oh I should tell you what it is. This is the Revolution Pro Eye Elements uh, Core Eye Primer in the shade Core. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh God, I'm so bad at this sometimes. But this is absolutely wonderful. It's like a MAC paint pot dupe. I've never tried the MAC paint pot like at all. So I'm not sure what the consistency of that is, but this is like ultra creamy, ultra pigmented. It definitely cancels out all of the discoloration I have on my eyelids. I have pretty dark eyelids because I have dark circles as well. And this lays really, really nice. Now at first I didn't really think I would like this only because it looks a little bit drying on my eyelids. But then at the same time, I have kind of oily eyelids, which is so strange. It's like the only part of me that's oily on my face are my eyelids. And this prevents any eyeshadow from creasing on me. And so, like I said, at first I was like, why is this so drying? But then I thought maybe it's because it's trying to control the oil on your oily eyelids and it's just doing what it's supposed to do. Yeah, that's probably what it was. I love it for every eyeshadow look. It it's just like so great. I don't set it. I literally just apply it and then just go in with my eyeshadow look or sometimes I do set it. And it also does really, really nice if you set it with like a nice bone color or like a flush or skin tone color. And it just looks really, really good. My eyeshadow will not budge. And when I apply a decent amount, like, you know, if I even go heavy handed, I notice that my eyeshadow tends to last just a tad bit longer. So overall, I'm actually really, really liking this. Like, I think that these kinds of primers, because I've experimented with all sorts of primers, like I used to use like a clear primer, I've done concealer, I've done like the clear ones that come in like with like a wand applicator. I've tried everything and I just know that I like something with a pigment more just like i said so that i can cancel out the color of my eyelids and have all of the other eyeshadows that i apply on top like pop so love it recommend it revolution has tons of sales on ulta and i know i didn't pay like the full price for this on top of that i don't think it's more than ten dollars so you gotta love it with now with that eye primer i have rediscovered these these have been in my collection for years they were recommended by emily noel for ever ago and these are the real techniques insta insta pop shade brush they come in a set so they both came together and i don't know if you can tell and yeah you can totally see that on the camera but they are like slanted um brushes i absolutely love this one to apply this eyeshadow primer because it's almost like i'm packing it on with my finger like that's what this feels like it feels like i have literally dipped my finger into the primer and i am laying it down because of the fact that it kind of like has like a slant and that you could pack it on it just blends it out beautifully like i'm Again, I've rediscovered this in my collection. I don't know if I've ever talked about these before, but they kind of just hung out with all of my eye brushes for the longest time and I could never figure out what to do with them. Like I tried using them with eyeshadows and like tried to use them as like packing brushes, but I just didn't quite like that. But for packing on my eyeshadow primer, gold like i love it like i said it literally feels like i'm packing on um, my eyeshadow primer with my finger so love this one and then this one i have recently did a cut crease like on you know my outside of youtube life like in my real life with this brush and it just put on the cut crease or i was able to cut the crease so well because again it's almost like like as if it were a finger you know, I know it sounds weird, but I hope that you understand what I'm trying to say. But it was so easy to cut the crease with this and it doesn't pick up too much product because obviously it's like the smaller version. And I just love the way that I can just like turn the brush over to this side and then just fix that like carving out motion that you usually do with like a flat brush. And then again, go back in and sort of pat that uh, concealer out. So I'm loving these. I. And I don't remember if they still make these. I probably should have checked 
Ulta before I started raving about them, but I'm pretty sure they're still on Ulta. They've got to be because they're so incredibly good. And I'm wondering if these would pack on a super shock shadow just because of the fact that, like I said, it's kind of like a finger, <laughs> you know? So I'm wondering that now, and maybe I'm going to try that. Overall, love this to put on my eyeshadow primer and love this for cutting my crease. The next, the next product, I didn't demo it for you guys today, but I did do sort of like a swatch and then like a rub rub test. <laughs> like I rubbed the area where I applied this product and uh, I wanted to show you that it was indeed smudge proof. This is another AOA Studio product and this is the Artista eyeliner pen in the shade brown. You guys, I need this in all of the shades it comes in because this is incredibly good. Like I was really, really surprised to find that this was also a brush tip applicator like eyeliner. I love anything with a brush tip. Like brush tip eyeliners are absolutely the best method in my opinion when it comes to pencil eyeliner. If you struggle like the way I struggle with like a felt tip because I feel like a felt tip isn't as flexible at times and when I'm running the felt tip it kind of like drags on my eyelids because I don't like to pull my eyelid taut or anything like that when I'm doing my eyeliner and so I've noticed with brush tips since they're a little bit more flexible and not as stiff as a felt tip it glides on like butter so nice and i'm again so pleasantly surprised that these one dollar eyeliners are not only pigmented like really really pigmented but they also have a brush tip applicator they have a few more colors that i've just been eyeballing forever and i think i'm just going to place that order tonight or tomorrow like i have to they have a brown a black i think they have a navy a purple and then a green and i'm just dying to get my hands on all the colors because i was so pleasantly surprised like i keep saying that i just I need to get them all. Like they're so, so good. Like, and like I said, they're smudge proof. So if you are somebody like me who has like, I have very watery eyes. This one is currently watering in the corner here. And I've noticed that when my eyes water while I'm wearing this eyeliner, it doesn't smudge or it doesn't bleed or anything like that. Even in my swatch that I did on my hand, I'll show you again, the eyeliner, does not bleed and that's also really really hard to find in eyeliners and no noting that this one is only a dollar and it doesn't bleed and it's also smudge proof i mean what more can i say like how i convinced you to buy it yet like are you buying it now because you probably should and you'll thank me for it later i promise you that last product i'm going to talk about is the lux lip glosses from ColourPop. I only have one shade because I just wanted one to try the formula just to see if I would like it and I am in love with this lip gloss. I also don't have a demo for this but you know what I can just apply a little bit more and this lip gloss is incredibly comfortable. Now I will say it feels like the tiniest, tiniest bit sticky, but nothing insane, like nothing as bad as like a liquid lipstick would feel like after you've like push your like lips together or whatever, or press your lips together. It's nothing like that. It's definitely lightweight and comfortable and it has a bunch of shine. Like it just, I couldn't even say it. Like it's so shiny and pretty and they smell like, they smell like fruity pebbles. Yeah, I smell my lips like that sometimes. I know I'm so strange, but I love the way that those apply. I love the doe foot applicator, the packaging. Um, my, my only complaint is the logo has already rubbed off. Like this used to say like color pop and stuff, but that's not a deal breaker to be honest. Like that's not gonna, you know, make me not want to buy more of those. And I know they recently came up with some oils like lip oils that I am also dying to try, but their lip glosses absolutely recommend they have a really decent amount of color to them too so if you're like somebody like me who doesn't like to wear lipstick too often because i'm not a lipstick kind of person i like to just wear a little bit of gloss and if my gloss has like a little bit of a tint to it um i'm i'm all for it so i love these like i said the smell the applicator, the packaging, the shades that they carry them in. I want them to make a clear shade just so that I can wear
wear that one underneath my mask because I don't wear lipsticks or lip glosses underneath my mask. But if I have something clear, just to give me the hydration and the shine, even though nobody's gonna see it, like I would totally be down for that. So fingers crossed that they make a clear one because I am dying for a clear lip gloss as of lately. I don't know why, don't ask me, I really don't know. That's all I've got for you guys today. So hopefully you enjoyed my current favorites. Like I said, I have been using these products for quite some time with the exception of one, but we've already talked about that and discussed that. So let's move on. And I really, really hope that you've tried some of these products or if you haven't like, and are thinking about it, like totally totally give them a chance you will not like you will not uh what's that word uh you will not regret that purchase like i said all of these also are very very affordable like i love affordable products and when i find hidden gems that are at a good price like i have to share it like i need to share it with the world so uh yeah if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and spread my love for makeup, and I will see you guys in my next video. Okay? Okay. Bye-bye.